Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of surface area. This is standard 7.9D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 6 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have what we call a net of a square pyramid. And it's, it's like we had this square pyramid that was made out of paper or cardboard. And we could have opened it up and laid it flat. You see here how our four triangular faces right here, if we would bring them all up into the middle right there and have them uh, have the, the points kind of connect right there, the vertex up at the top we could have a pyramid. And so one way for us to find the surface area, now this is not volume. So the volume, remember, is on the inside. It's not volume. The surface area is how much area, remember that's a two-dimensional measurement, is on the surface of a three-dimensional object. So instead of finding the volume inside the object, we're looking for how much area is on the faces of this object. So I've got four triangles. So I'm going to need that measurement for area. So the area of a triangle, remember, from our uh, mathematics chart is one half base times height. And we remember that because if you think of any rectangle here, right, and that's base times height, you can always turn it into a triangle by just one line that goes diagonal. And so it's half of that base times height is going to be that triangle. And that works with any triangle. So one half base times height. Now my base, they have actually give us the base here as the side length of one of my squares. So one half times 12. And then I've got two different measurements. That's the only quote unquote trick, I guess, with this one is this 10 feet goes to this side length right here. And we don't need that. You can only use the side length as the height if it is a right triangle. Because you need a right angle it needs to be perpendicular from the base. And they give you this imaginary line right here. So we don't need the 10 feet, this extra information. What we do need is the 8 feet. And so that's my height. Alright, so I can multiply this half times 12 if I want to, right? That's going to be 6. Half of 12 is 6 times 8. That's 48. If I wanted to, I could have multiplied the half times 8. Half times 8 would be 4 times 12 still equals 48. So the area of one of these is 48, but I've got four of them. All right, so now I need to take my uh, 48 square feet, multiply that by 4 because I have four triangles, and so that's going to be 32, 16, 19. Now, 192 is not an option. I'm glad they didn't make that an option because it's not correct because it's just the triangles, but it would have been tricky if they would have left that as one of the options. We have to get the square. Now, it is a square-based pyramid, so they only give us one side length. We don't need to know any of the other side lengths. It's a square, so it's all the same thing. So uh, you could do the base times height if you wanted to, but remember, they're both the same here, so it's S squared, or side times itself. So this is 12 squared, or in this case, it's going to be 12 times 12. All right, so that's a basic fact. If we're not sure what that is, we can do the multiplication, but that's 144. All right, so I've got four sets of 48. That makes 192. And then I've got my 144 for my square. And that's going to be it. Let's just add that up and see what we get here. I've got 6, 13. I've got 336 square feet, F. 